Hello. So since I've been pregnant, I'm about 14 weeks pregnant now. Since I've been pregnant, I really haven't changed much about what I've been eating. I think that I was already eating in a way to support fertility and pregnancy. And I've really just been listening to my body for quite a while now. I will say I've craved more variety, especially during the first trimester. I noticed that as I'm entering the second trimester, there are many more days where all I want is meat. And that's actually really refreshing for me. It's super simple, but I'm not opposed to eating other foods. So I do well with a variety of foods now, so that's great. But as for supplements, some supplements I've been very intentional about during pregnancy, and I just wanted to make a short video on what those are and why, in case anyone else is interested in becoming pregnant or having children or is in pregnancy. So number one is actually dandelion tea. I have been drinking this before I got pregnant. It's a way to support the liver. It is a way to support drainage, detox, and the liver is really supported by dandelion tea. It's one of the few plant things that I really appreciate and use regularly. Dandelion tea is low oxalate. There should be no issues with anti-nutrients. It has a very earthy, nutty flavor, but I put it in, I make the tea and then I add electrolytes to it. So all you taste is the electrolytes. And then I also use iodine, which is the next one. I was already using iodine before, but now I'm using more iodine because the body requires more iodine during pregnancy. I'm using almost double what I was taking before, which is already more than what you know the, the standard recommendations are. If you're interested in iodine, I have a video on it. Please see the description. I clarify that I'm not talking about two whole dropper fulls, I'm talking about two drops. And so I take the Lugol's 2% iodine right I was doing four drops before pregnancy, now I'm doing about eight drops per day. If you wanna break down how much that actually is, you can look at the Lugol's 2% iodine on the Amazon page where I get it, and it will describe how much is in each vertical drop. It's really important when you're supplementing iodine to know how much you're taking. Too much can be a major problem, so you wanna get the right amount, and it's gonna change based on percentage, based on the product that you're using. So that's why I like to direct people straight to the Amazon page so they know which product they're looking at. Not all iodine is the same. Another thing I've been taking is collagen. I get a ton of collagen from the meat that I eat, especially the cuts that have the bone in them and you cook them and you can just see the collagen oozing out or you know pulling away from the meat. It's just in there and that is the best source of collagen that anyone could get. I say this all the time and I'll say it again because one of my friends recently gifted me some beef soup bones. They got a half cow and they gave me these incredible soup bones. They had a ton of meat and fat on them, like a ton. And they were incredible. And the bones were porous, they were crunchy, they were delicious, and I ate them. But what I noticed is that there wasn't that much collagen. Compared to Billy Doe Meats, I, I just have to say Billy Doe Meats is the best. If you're wanting a jiggly broth, if you're wanting collagen and all of those nutrients, if you're wanting to heal and seal your gut, please check out Billy Doe Meats. It's non-aged, it's halal, so they're holistically raised animals that live a very happy life and you can just tell by the quality of the meat that the animals lived a very happy life. Animals that are stressed out, the meat will be tougher, it'll taste different, Billy Doe Meats is the best. And so that is where I get my, that is my primary source of collagen and it always has been. That type of collagen does not compare to the stuff that comes in a tub that is powder. Doesn't compare. But the stuff that comes in powder form isn't bad. And so I love Perfect Keto. I have a discount code, tailored, should be my code. And I love their white chocolate raspberry. It's actually a barista blend collagen. It's made for coffee as a coffee creamer. They have multiple flavors in this, in this line, but I use it in my Greek yogurt and it's so good. So I mix actually two scoops of that into my Greek yogurt. And then I add some maybe strawberry slices. So good. So collagen, the uterus needs a lot of collagen. I was just reading about this a couple weeks ago. I was like, wow, this is incredible. Just what the body goes through in, in pregnancy and what is needed. So, so yeah, I've been intentionally getting collagen every single day. If I don't have a cut of meat that's really, really collagenous and obviously loaded with collagen, then I will make the yogurt with the collagen powder. I also got a lemon flavor vital proteins collagen it was on it was on like super sale at amazon or something it was like a flash sale and it's no no i got it from costco sorry 
I got a big tub of it from Costco, the lemon vital proteins collagen. And I've been putting the, a scoop of that in Tyler and I's electrolyte slushy every day because we have been using the lemon lime relight electrolytes, discount code is tailored. In that, you know, I'll mix the lemon lime electrolytes. I'll put a little bit of apple cider vinegar, which is a great source of potassium. If you have histamine intolerance, don't do that. Some seltzer water that goes well with it, like we'll do watermelon lime or we'll do strawberry watermelon. I mean, anything goes really well with it, honestly. Coconut goes really well with lime. And then I'll do a scoop of the lemon collagen and it is so delicious. It is really good. And so that's another way to just sneak in more collagen. The second to last one is folate. Women need folate. It really protects against, I believe it protects against deformities when the child is literally just developing in the womb. I learned about taking folate from Nisha Berry. She knows a whole lot more about pregnancy and having kids than I do. She has two separate channels, so you guys know, and one of them is more de dedicated to those types of things. I actually did a live with her last fall on her channel before we had the miscarriage, and so I learned about that. So I've been taking folate every day. I think 400 milligrams is the minimum amount. I've actually been taking more than that every day, just about every day. So I get the doctor's best folate, super affordable on Amazon. The last thing I've been making sure to get every single day is my minerals, Aussie Trace Minerals. It is so quenching and your body absolutely needs minerals to thrive. I'm speaking to not just pregnant, women or women who want to be pregnant but literally everyone who views this video minerals are necessary and you can get by with with deficient mineral deficiencies but you're going to run into issues and it's incredible after doing this for four years as my full-time job it's incredible to see how many issues can be resolved just by getting enough minerals i'm talking major energy issues focus, constipation is a huge one. So headaches, minerals are huge. Even your, your, your thyroid function, everything in your body needs minerals and our soil and our water, they're both depleted in this day and age. And so when people ask, you know, do I need to supplement anything on the carnivore diet? Strictly speaking, you could maybe say no, but then they might have to eat more raw meat because where are they going to get their electrolytes? It's not coming from it's not coming from things like it used to years and years and years and years and years ago. So it's just something to think about. You know, um, your filtered water filters out the bad things, but is it adding the good things back into it? You need to add the minerals back into your water, whether you're buying spring water, getting your water from a natural spring, which would be incredible. I have a couple clients who do that. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. We have a reverse osmosis filter under our sink. It's a whole system and it filters out all the bad things and the water tastes awesome, but I always add my minerals back in. So Aussie Trace Minerals, check them out. They're incredible. They have a plain version, lemon, lime, peppermint. The peppermint has helped me a lot during pregnancy. I've shared before that I haven't gotten nauseous. I only got sick once, but I've had moments of nausea where it's like, am I nauseous right now? So it has not been extreme, but I will say drinking peppermint and ginger makes me feel more protected from feeling nauseous. I don't know how much it has helped me not get nauseous. I think I've just been really blessed in this pregnancy, but all the flavors are good. Tyler doesn't like the peppermint. He says it tastes bitter. Those are the things that I'm doing. Oh, last one I almost forgot is liver. I had been in a, such a nice routine of taking my little frozen raw hunk of liver every single day. The reason I don't take more is because liver has a ton of vitamin A and vitamin A toxicity is a major risk when you're eating a bunch of liver and it's a problem. And so I wouldn't recommend taking more than an ounce or two per day or even a couple times per week. Liver is super nutrient dense. And so, like I said, I was in a really good routine of that. And then I got pregnant and the idea of eating raw liver was not appealing to me. And so I started taking capsules again and I'm super grateful for Grassland Nutrition. They make liver and kelp capsules. So that is another source of iodine is the kelp. But that just makes it a lot easier to get your daily serving of liver or organs because those are superfoods. Those are the supplements. And so liver every single day. I don't miss it. I think that's it. 
If you have found something that really helped you in your pregnancy, I would be interested to hear. Obviously, a lot of DHA fat, which is really important, especially in the development of the baby's central nervous system. It really depends on how much high quality fat that the mom is getting during the pregnancy. I'm speaking from the research I've done, obviously not experience yet. So, but I already get a good amount of DHA fat. Um, a really great source of it is lamb brain. And just the fat on lamb is very rich in omega-3s, DHA. And so uh, sweet breads are an excellent source. And those also contain vitamin C and the Dow enzyme and they're delicious. So I've been, you know, naturally just craving fat the way my body always has. And so thankfully it's just been a natural part, but if you're someone who struggles to eat fat, I would encourage you to make sure you get it in during your pregnancy, even though if you're struggling to eat it, find ways to make it yummy. And if you struggle with that, reach out to me because I'm pretty good at finding ways to make things more palatable. Pretty good at it. So yeah, I think that's it. Hope you have a great day. Hi you guys. So my fall retreat is more than halfway booked. I know that you guys may have already heard of it. We're going to have a dream team of special guests. We have Ken Berry, Maria Emmerich, Kelly Hogan, Misha Berry, and Lisa Wiedemann. So we're all going to be together. This is going to be invaluable fellowship, breakthroughs, learning, eating the highest quality, best, most delicious meats like Billy Doe meats, North Star Bison. I'm going to be making my carnivore treats, carnivore brownies, carnivore carrot cake, carnivore ice cream. And then of course we'll have Maria with us. So she's going to do some cooking with us. It's going to be so awesome. For those of you who don't do sweeteners, we will be with Emily Harvo and Kelly Hogan as well. They don't do sweeteners. Lisa doesn't do sweeteners. So we're going to have options for everyone. It's just going to be absolutely incredible. So we're in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, October 11th through 16th. This is when the fall colors are peaking. The weather is phenomenal. If you're interested, please email me directly at Rebecca at TaylorKeto.Health. I'll send you the information. I'll send you an invoice when you're ready to pay. The only way to reserve your spot is with payment, and then you'll be locked in. I hope to see you there.